Hey, what's up survivors? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel and another seven days to die video. Now, if you've never been to the desert area in the southeast area of the map, there's this really cool POI. I want to show you this little place of interest here. And it looks like it used to be a mine, like a gold mine. And I'll show you where it's at on the map here. If you zoom in, I'm right about 1210 724. It's the 1210 South 724 East. You can see it's in the lower right hand section of the map in the desert area here. Now, I'm wondering this because you got this building here, you got all these factory pipes coming in, and you have this, it looks like a, a water runoff that maybe they used to, you know, push water in way back in the day. It goes all the way up to here. It's kind of blocked off. I don't see anything underneath it here, but I wanted to go inside and take a look and show you guys what's on the inside of this. So we're going to bust through this real quick. Okay, once you're inside, I would highly advise having a flashlight with you, or at least like I have a mining helmet that could help out too. And you see that there's, you know, there's a room over here that you can work out some stuff over here, but it comes with a workbench. So that's really nice to use if they're in the general area. Uh, you know, there's trash and stuff laying around the ground. We're not going to worry about that necessarily right at the moment. You can kind of explore that a little bit more on your own. But I want to go down because if you can see like between the slats and the boards, you can see this mine system runs all the way underneath. So we're going to try and bust down there real quick. Okay, so it takes a little while to get down through there because you got some steel ramps stuff down here. Now, I'm wearing a mining helmet, so I have my flashlight because if not, it's pretty dark. I mean, there's a few of the little emergency floodlights lit up, but it's really dark. So make sure you have a flashlight or a mining helmet before you come down here or a torch, I guess, if you're really early in the game and you haven't found either one of those yet. But you see, this is a really well-made mining system here. It wasn't just one of these just by accident sort of thing. All right, let's go down here and see what we got. All right, so it looks like this whole area looks like it was flooded and kind of just fell apart. And uh, if you didn't know this, down in this water, which is hard to get back up, so I'm not going to jump back down there, but there's a munitions box that you see under the water. Now, for me, the last time I looked in there was just a little bit of bullets, so there's not a whole lot to it there. But you can see this room kind of looked like it was broken off. Maybe something's collapsed on it. I'm not quite sure what exactly happened. But as you can see, there's not much on this direction. Let's head off the other side and see what we can find. But this is a really well-made mine, and I'm pretty sure it used to be a gold mine. It just has a similar characteristics for some gold mines that I've visited in my, you know, my own life, basically. They weren't really functioning or anything, but as you can see, we got a corpse down here, so maybe... What would be kind of cool with Alpha 16 is when they start releasing the sleeper zombies, you know, the ones that wake up when you show up. Maybe the mine would come to life. All right, we got some dirt here. Where's my shovel? All right, we're going to see if we can bust through here because it, like, it looks like there might be some more on the other side of this. I'm going to go check it out. See if we can dig through this. Hopefully this opens up into some more down here. If I can do it without... Uh, here, let's see if we can just dig under it. Oh, no, 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 no. That... That's going to be a little bit bigger. That's some uh, raw iron right there. No wonder it's taking so long to get through it. Can I see if, see if I can just squat through? Nice. Okay, that'll save some time. Okay, you can just kind of squat through here. Got a pretty good little mine system. See, this takes us back to the water where we were at here. We got... Oh, wow. Check that out. There's no ladder system here, so we'll definitely have to build one to get down there. But you can see there's some ore right along the sides here. I want to get down there to that. But we're going to check out the rest of the mine first real quick. So this will be kind of cool. If you guys have been uh, in this yourself, ooh, I want to get down there because it looks like we got a, oh, that's a broken path and stuff. If you guys have been here and you're really, uh, you know, you've had a lot of time to spend some time in here, you know, what kind of cool stuff have you found in here? Uh, is How far down have you gone with it? I've only explored just a little bit of it, and so I'm not 100% sure of all the stuff that you can find here just a little bit at a time. I'm going to bust through this wall real quick. Okay, through that wall, and wow, check this out. We got this gigantic ravine. The house itself is right up on the other side of there. And if you stand on this cliff and look down, you can actually see this walkway, which is another big indicator that it's a, uh, it's something that you want to get to. Ooh, we want to get to this chest down here too without falling off. See if we can bust through this real quick and get down there. Let's see. Uh, let's maybe go with this one since it's trying to break it apart anyway. Make sure we're not going to fall underneath it. May have to uh, do some jump stacking of some uh, frames and stuff to get up here. Okay, we'll be real careful when we come down here. Search mountain man chest. Nice. And all oh, there's herbal antibiotics recipe. Very cool, very cool. I wonder what kind of stuff you can get out here. But you can see it's way down there in the ravine. And the ravines are one of those POIs that was added with Alpha 15. Let's see, do I have any wood? F okay, I do have some wood frames here. All right, let's see if I can. Here. There we go. Okay, that's a good easy way to get out of a hole, by the way, if you're ever trying to figure out how to get down there. Now, I want to go check this out down here and see how much further down it goes. 
So we'll see if we can do this without dying. We may, we're going to have to work really hard to get out of here and stuff. But you can see this goes down a little ways. Don't fall. Or don't take any damage. All right. So we got another. We got some crates and cardboard boxes down here. Like I said, I'm not going to do a lot of, you know, scavenging of supplies and stuff. But it looks like this mine just wraps on for a good long time. And this is really cool. This will be an awesome place to set up a base because it's all really, really well reinforced. All right, so we got some stairs and stuff going down there. We'll check that out in a little bit. I'm going to keep the video short. I'm not going to do a full um, exploration of this cave. All right, we got some more water. Let's see if perchance something underneath here. Oh, it's kind of an under, underwater uh, cave system here. No, don't do that. Let's see how far it goes. Oh, wow. Need some scuba gear for that. That looks really awesome. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to keep this video short because it'd take a long time to do all the exploration stuff here. But when I get to where I'm doing another Let's Play of Seven Days to Die, and yes, I did say I'm planning on doing one, uh, I think I will try and you know start around this POI and see what I can find. So anyway, if you found some really cool stuff here, let me know what you found and you know where you found it, how much further down you went. Oh, cool. Looks like we found a control office. Let me see if we go in there real quick. And then we'll wrap the video up so we can keep it kind of short. But I just wanted to show you guys, for the people who did not know this is here. Now, this is in Navis Gain, so I don't know for sure how well this will work. Of course, it's locked. How well it'll show up in the random gym. It very well could, but I don't know specifically of where it'll be, of course, so who knows. Let me in. What do we have in here? We got a library, got a gun safe, got a nice little executive chair. Another door over here. Let's go check it out real quick. While we're beating stuff up, might as well just jump into it. I think it's probably just a door to the other side. Oh, I'll look forward to when they get the lock picking in there. Nice. Got a little picnic area that looked like it went really badly. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to wrap the video up here. If you have any questions or comments, do drop it in the comment section down below, and I'll help lay answer as quick as I can. And if you found the video useful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button on it, because I truly do appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos so you don't miss out on them. Thank you guys so much for your time. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.